Today we are here with a California girl named Cristina. And actually, she's not just a girl anymore. She's all grown up, but we're looking back on her life in the Mojave Desert, El Desierto Mojave. It used to be part of Mexico. How was it, Cristina, growing up? Well, the desert was, um, as a kid looking out on it, you could just walk and walk and walk. There weren't streets. Uh, uh, houses were connected just by the desert, and so you could just literally walk like the crow flies. Lots of places in Latin America have lots of people living like you probably did back then, only in the United States things become more modern faster than they do in other countries. There are a lot of people living nowadays the way you did back then. What did you do for fun when you were growing up? We didn't have a lot of toys. We did have a swimming pool in the backyard, but our biggest... Uh, what kind of a... What was your swimming pool made of? Well, it was above ground. It's so, you know, it was just a, a metal shell and a liner and, um, you know, but um, you had to have something to uh, break the heat. Uh, it was too much. But uh, as kids, we played with lizards. Well, wait a minute. Let's don't get past this, this uh, swimming pool. How hard was it to keep water in that pool, and how deep was it? How big was your pool? Well, it was about um, oh, about three and a half feet. It wasn't very deep, enough to get immersed in the water. But the thing is, as as kids, I remember my dad always saying, "Don't splash the water," because he was always concerned about the water being thrown out of the pool. So in the desert, water was uh, a luxury, not a not nothing to take for granted. Where did you get your water? Just like anybody else back then, it was, you know, the hose and things like that, and that's how he filled it up. But um, I mean, did you have to dig a deep well? Somebody came in and dug a deep well? No, we were a very small town, and um, we had, you know, water from the town, but um, you just didn't waste water in the desert. Did you have grass, uh, bushes, trees in your yard? Yep, we did. We had uh, apricot trees in the backyard, and we had bushes that uh, were called oleander bushes. We did have some grass, but I remember a lot of sand in the backyard. So what did you do for fun besides the swimming pool? Well, we got really good at tracking lizards, and uh, we would get up early in the morning, um, and we would look for <clears throat> how the lizards would make... Uh, um, tracks in the in the in the sand, and then uh, we would uh, get uh, turtles. They were desert tortoises, and they were very large. And uh, we used to paint them with fingernail polish to uh, indicate that they were our turtles. Did you just paint them in a small spot? No, we uh, painted them all the way around the uh, the rim of the shell. Oh, just around the rim, so it didn't hurt them. Oh no, 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 no! It just made them very colorful and. Uh, it was the turtles could dig holes under the fences and uh, they would get out and so it was your way of determining these were your turtles. A different kind of pet. Oh yeah, very friendly, very um, very slow, but they were large and uh, so they were just like big, friendly, hairless pets. Did cats and dogs like to be around the desert? Well, I don't recall a lot of cats in the desert, but we did, you know, we did have a dog when I was smaller, but, you know, it was very hard for animals to be out in the, uh, you know, the heat of the day. That's not their kind of territory. Plus, I would imagine the coyotes would get them out there, wouldn't they? Definitely, that was a big factor. Matter of fact, uh, I remember we had a turtle that we loved, and, uh, my dad was taking care of uh, another man's dog for him while he went on vacation, and we came out in the morning. Like I said, uh, we'd come out and look for lizards and our turtles, and um, one of our turtles was eaten in half. The dog had eaten the turtle, and we did not realize that that could happen, but it does. Okay, so what else did you do for fun out there in the desert? You always had to check your shoes before you put your shoes on in the morning because there would be uh, scorpions or spiders in your shoes. So once you got your shoes on... What kind of a spider? There were uh, black widows. There were um, big spiders. I don't remember what kind they were as, as a kid, but uh, the, definitely you were more apt to find a scorpion in your shoe than a spider. And my, I have a story about my grandmother. <clears throat> 
when we would go to see her, uh, her way of, um, she had a china cabinet, and she used to catch the scorpions and put them in uh, mason jars and put them on top of the china cabinet. And um, she had a way of uh, keeping us from running in the house. She would say, oh, it'd be a shame if one of those jars fell off and that scorpion got out. And so, it, you know, it was a really good um, way of controlling all of us. Uh, I had four brothers and sisters, so it was a way of keeping us from being so rambunctious in the house. In other words, the vibration running around the house could make that jar fall off. She was saying the jar breaks and all because of you are running, here comes a scorpion after you. Well, yeah. Did that it ever? Did, did a scorpion anywhere, anywhere ever come after you? Well, oh yeah. Uh, you know, um, we uh, slept outside at, at my grandmother's house. You know, on rollaway beds in the driveway, and we'd look at the stars and have binoculars. And that was one of the fun things of being in the desert because there were no lights, so the stars were just beautiful. But you had to be careful that scorpions didn't want to get in there in your um, sleeping bag. So it was, you always shared the desert with all of the uh, low crawling <laughs> insects. We're talking about a really different kind of fun, very simple. In some ways, this would scare a lot of parents to death. Yeah. Uh, as a parent, I don't think that I would, be, I wouldn't want to be comfortable with, with that because there's just so much to chance. So what else did you do for fun? Did you make up games? Well, most of our games were made up by um, the things that we had in the desert. We uh, did a lot of chasing each other because there was a lot of place to run. It was, but uh, there were the problems of and the pitfalls of uh, like running into a cactus bush, and uh, that was pretty painful. But you know, it was a lot of great fun. What about the cactus? Well, the cactuses. That was about the only green thing in the desert, and uh, they had these long needles, uh, and uh, they were kind of a flat, uh, like a paddle type shape, and then it would just have these long needles sticking out of it. They were very painful and uh, very rigid, so when you uh, bumped into it, it didn't bend, it, you bent. <laughs> How many times did you bump into one? Well, a lot. I mean, it was just a part of, um, as you're running and playing, you, you, you know, it would catch your clothes, tear them, and stuff like that. And what happens? What do you do after that? Well, it, it actually stings like a, a bee sting. So it swells up, and um, it, uh, it feels like a bee sting. You put some medicine on it? You know, um, one of the things that we did a lot as kids when we uh, did get bit by something is we would make mud and uh, with the sand and then we would put it on the, uh, the area that we got um, either, you know, poked by a cactus or, or, you know, bit by something, it was just putting mud on it. You're a nurse nowadays. Does that sound like a good way to fix something? Well, you know, we... Um, do a lot of treatments where we put something moist on something cool. It's always soothing. So, you know, that was a cool, soothing, quick method. You just add water to the sand and you had mud and there you go. Now, you were talking about having fun and yet a lot of this sounds <laughs> like maybe the opposite. Or maybe when you're a kid, all of this danger and the possibility of pain, uh, maybe it makes the desert a little more fun. Or did you even think of it like that? No, the desert was, um, at, that's all what we knew. And so it wasn't strange to us at all. It was uh, something that you learned to, you would, you adapted to everything. So uh, to us, there was never danger. It was like a big adventure.